Today's Monday. I love a Monday. Mondays feel like fresh starts. Like everything that I couldn't figure out how to do for the rest of my life will start on Monday. I just went to Costa Rica and I got all these cool rocks and I want to make like a cool bag charm or necklaces out of them. So I'm going to go to wholesale like jewelry and trimming stores downtown in LA and see if I can find some cool strings and stuff. I got so many cool things. I don't know what's going on with this or where, but look how cool this is. It's like, I don't know, I just thought they were beautiful. They look like little freaking berries. I could hand sew this into a sleeve so easily. How cool would that be? Look how insanely cute this lace is. Those little bears or something, I don't know. But then I was imagining like layering this over the bears and tying that onto a sleeve. This was supposed to be for bag charms, but then I just started getting fun ideas. I don't know, I think that would look so cool and just unique, like I've never seen something exactly like that. I've been really wanting to deck out my notebooks recently. That's another project for another time, but I really wanna do that. I just think this one's gonna pair really well with the vibe I'm going for. I got a bunch of string, but I'm realizing I don't think I got all the colors I wanted. I wanna like kind of suspend the rocks by tying the strings around them. This was just pretty awesome. I don't know what we're gonna do with that, but. And then this too, I it was, it's just obviously like um, clasps for a top, but I thought how cool on a bag. I love stuff where it's not supposed to go. And then I bought a tassel too, because I was thinking about it and I was like, I don't know, maybe I sound crazy, but like, I think a tassel on a bag would be really cool. No, that's normal, what am I saying? I don't know, I think just hanging this off a bag, like even a tote bag, would just make it a little personal and cool. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff, obviously. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> I'm really just tying strings around rocks. I thought I had a drill here and I was gonna drill holes through them, but this is working for me right now. And I'm just randomly like suspending <laughs> rocks onto ropes. I think that looks really cool. And I think they're gonna look really awesome all together. He's the most gentle playing cat I've ever seen in the world. <laughs> Look at that gentle paw. <laughs> We're taking a little crafting break to make some lunch. This is like the easiest thing and my favorite thing to make because zucchini and salmon cook at the same temperature. And I love when stuff is easy. <laughs> I think the tassel would be on its own, so not with any of these. I did the bags and then I didn't really like them, so I took it all off and I made it into this really long necklace thing that I think is cool. Got my salmon and zucchini. I was just reading in bed and I thought I would do a book review of what I've been reading. Okay, I just tried to start reading Ariel by Sylvia Plath. I love poetry, but this is going completely over my head and I don't know what it is about it, but I can't get into it. I, I didn't read the whole thing, I only read a couple of poems, but the reason I started reading it is because I just read The Bell Jar. Sylvia Plath, both of them, and I loved The Bell Jar. Like, absolutely loved it. I loved the writing, I loved the story. I've read this in like three days, but I have to say I was a bit confused and like bored at the end of this. I was enjoying the book so much up until like the last quarter of it maybe, like the way it ended I was just expecting something so much different and I thought the whole, sorry, spoiler, if you're gonna read it don't watch this. It felt like her sadness was very well described and you could really feel it and feel how she was feeling and like everything around her made sense with like her perception of it through a lens of sadness and I guess like at the end she got better 
right? But, or maybe I'm wrong, that's how it felt. But like the process of getting better didn't seem as descriptive and I thought that would be really cool. I mean, this is just my thoughts. I just started reading The Song of Achilles also, a little gay Greek mythology book. It's very good. Um, I'm like a quarter of the way through on that and we're enjoying it. All right, good night. <laughs>。今日は。idea of spirituality like is reflected in their culture I just thought that was so cool and so when I was walking this morning I was thinking about that specifically like thinking literally seeing God in absolutely everything I also meditated when I first woke up this morning which I don't usually do and I really need to start doing again and then as I'm walking I'm just starting to see God in more and more things and I'm like smelling things and I'm like that's God like And thinking about how I'm such an emotional person and realizing like that's God and like all these beautiful things I get to experience like the joy and awe I see in the world and nature is God and all of the people I'm seeing and like I was seeing children, I was seeing kids play and I was like that's definitely God, like that is one of the purest forms of it. I just started thinking about how like I am also God and That wasn't my first priority of what to treat well. Like I was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna like make my bed and like keep my space clean today because I wanna like respect the things I have and the space I have and like inanimate objects. You know, I, I wanna just like respect the world today. <laughs> and um, I wasn't thinking about myself. And then I started to think about myself and how like I would also be under that category of being godly, god, I don't know. And that that means I need to be kind to myself and respect myself as I would anything else that I believe is like divine or whatever, you know? Um, and that made me cry. <laughs> and then I walked inside and I started making some eggs. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do today is clean my whole space and respect my things. Because truthfully, like I'm a really just messy girl. I just kind of like fling things around willy nilly all the time. And I would like to not do that anymore. I would like to like respect the things I have and treat them with reverence. And I think that's a really beautiful concept. And I want to do that today. I promise you guys this isn't turning into a religion channel. I just think having spirituality in my life is really good for me. Having a higher power is great for me. I'm going on a quadruple date later which I'm excited about. I never even really have gone on double dates much in my life. I can't even tell you the last time I did. I just finished eating. I'm gonna put some of my little mushroom powder into water. A lot of people use this to make mushroom coffee, but I've stopped drinking caffeine because I'm a little anxious girl. And this has helped me so much with my anxiety. It's 10 different mushrooms and ashwagandha. Tastes like dirt. <laughs> I just got this in the mail and I'm so excited about it. This is art clay silver. It's basically clay that you mold into jewelry and then you torch it and it turns into solid silver. So cool. I still need like a bunch of tools to work with it, but I really want to make rings and just cool stuff. So I'm excited about that and I didn't know it exists, so now you do. I just took a bath, washed my hair. I think I'm gonna do a little bang cut. Listening to some Andrew Huberman, he's my favorite. If you're into science at all and wanna listen to accessible science podcasts where you can understand everything, he is the absolute best. He does a really amazing job of explaining very complex concepts to the average person. I only have kitchen scissors, so wish me luck. Showing that just one psilocybin journey can improve mood, critical information to understand. So today we're going to talk about near- Probably shouldn't have moisturized right before I did this. A moment ago, is still- They're looking pretty good. 
quadruple movie day outfit. Good morning. No, it's not morning, it's afternoon. But today's Wednesday. I didn't update all day. I didn't have a very eventful day. Honestly, I was very, very tired. I went to see Dune last night on my quadruple date. I don't know, I'm not really into sci-fi or action movies in general, so I don't know why I thought that would be my kind of movie. I didn't, other people wanted to see it. But, I was happy to be there. Now I'm in the car because I'm going to hang out with my friend Ellie, who owns Oddly, which is the coolest brand in the world. And you guys should check it out. They sell awesome boxers. The two owners, Jensen and Ellie, I'm good friends with both of them. The sweetest, most genuine, amazing people in the world. So just know also when you're buying from them that you're buying from amazing people. And I think that's really important. I'm going to visit her at her office right now. Actually, Jensen's out of town. And I think we're gonna go get dinner or something. But I wanted to show you this too because I ordered some bikinis from Andy Bagus. Hello? Tell me this is... The bottoms are very, very tiny. So... <sighs> Yeah, but if you're into that, I am. <laughs> um, and then I got this one too. Honestly, this is my favorite bikini brand. I feel like they're really good prices for the quality and bikini prices have just gotten a little out of hand these days. Um, so cute, suede situation. Goodies, I'm going home. Got with. boxers, <laughs> blankets. The coziest blankets in the world. Jaden said she's gonna take this on a date. We need on to a get it to our date. <laughs> date. Somehow I always end up vlogging in the trash filled car. But today is Sunday. I love a Sunday. Sundays are just like, I don't have to do anything today if I don't want to. But they always end up being like my favorite days. I'm about to go on a little walk with my girl at pot. We're gonna get some coffee. And then I just kinda wanna bop around and do some errands today. Back from the walk, I ended up getting an English breakfast tea with whole milk. Crazy choice for today. It was delicious. Um, we had a really nice little walk. It was like a two mile loop and I just love a walk and This is like the healthiest relationship I've ever been in or like situationship or anything And we're like actively trying to like get each other active and healthier and it's just really beautiful I got some incense because we walked into this store and It was also it was so cute. I just love a little like home goods gift store um, and as soon as we walked in, we're like, whoa, it smells so good in here. Mm. And then I overheard her talking to someone that asked about the incense, that she was burning that in the store. And I love when that happens, when a store is like selling whatever is making it smell good. So I'm stoked on that. It's like 2 p.m. now, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go home and eat lunch. And then I want to go to Lululemon. I really want to get back and do a gym routine. I have not been in one for the past couple weeks. And I just know a fresh workout set is always going to make me excited to go to the gym again. And I don't invest as much money in my gym clothes that I actually wear every day as I do in my normal clothes. And I think I should start doing that for myself. The gym bros are on to something with the meal prep. <laughs> Okay, I just went to Lululemon. So I really like writing poetry and just like silly little things. And I always think about how I want to share it. And I'm not really sure how I want to share it formally, but I thought it'd be fun to just share little things I think about throughout the day and write about just informally in my vlogs. But today was just one of those days where like every little thing just felt good and it felt like there was just goodness in the air. I don't know. And I wrote this little thing. I just wrote it in my notes app. It's not any semblance of what it would be. 
if I would make it into like an actual poem or anything, but I just thought it was a cool idea. It was just about finally feeling like I'm friends with myself, and it feels right now like I'm meeting a version of myself that I haven't known maybe ever before, or for a long time at least. Um, and I've had a lot of conversations about this recently, just how I've always felt like there was like this war in my head, and I haven't been friends with myself. And I feel like I'm getting there, and I feel like I'm starting to meet this version of me that is friends with myself, and that forgives myself, and treats me like I treat other loved ones. And maybe that's just my frontal lobe developing, or me finally actually looking at my relationship to myself, to my body, and taking it seriously, and not just pushing it to the side, because I think I did that for so long, where I was just like, mm, I know this is a problem, and it's something I'm just going to have to get into later, but I'm just not ready for now. And I just feel this like calmness and gentleness with approaching it now where I don't feel like I'm like, whoa, I need to like redo everything and have this relationship with myself. But I feel very much just like, oh, it's time. Like, okay, we're just not gonna fight that anymore. We're just gonna be kind to ourselves and take it slow. It just happened, like very randomly. And I'm very grateful for it. I also wrote something about the Cheesecake Factory when I walked by it. I'll put that there, maybe. That was a silly one. I don't know, but I really like writing. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. And I'm gonna go to the gym. We're back. Here's my little haul. Pink top thing. Because I've realized I mostly just like to wear sports bras in the gym, but I don't really like to feel like I'm wearing just a bra. So I feel like a little sports bra top thing is an amazing solution. And then I got this little one shoulder guy. This was on sale and so are these pants. I really don't like wearing leggings to the gym for some reason. I've always just like hated how they feel. So these are super comfy. I was gonna vlog some of my workout but I just realized I forgot to do that. But what I've been loving lately is the Sammy Clark form app. I feel like a lot of people have talked about this on TikTok. So I just did a little 30 minute weighted strength Pilates circuit. And that shit gets your heart rate up. Like, those look simple, but they're so hard. And I've really been trying to change my relationship with fitness lately to just things that feel super easy and that feel really good for my body and that I want to do. And I used to be a big, like, 12, 3, 30 girl and running, especially with trying to balance my hormones. I think I've realized, like, those kind of higher intensity workouts aren't great for me. And I kind of dread doing them. Like, Every time I think about coming to the gym, it feels like it has to be an hour-long ordeal where I do 30 minutes on the treadmill and then do my ab circuit. So I'm kind of just trying to do things that I really enjoy. And those videos are so good. The time goes by like that. Like I just did a 30-minute video and it felt like 10 minutes. And I would so much rather do something like that and actually have it be routine and consistent than something that feels like I'm dreading or is going to really exhaust my body. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to try to lay off the cardio right now and just stick with walking throughout the day. I'm going to do a little meditation in here. Bye. It's the best vegan feta in the whole world. <laughs> showered, put on some cozies. Um, I'm gonna go over to Girly Pop's house. That's what we're gonna call her for now, Girly Pop. This was a very successful Sunday and my ideal Sunday. Cool. Morning, I'm in the car again, but Jaden's car. She also has trash in here because we're moving. <laughs> we're at our manager's office right now picking up some packages we had shipped there. We're hoping our bowls are gonna be ready at the studio to pick up. We're gonna go stop by there. Guys, we're laughing. We don't know what happened when we went into Glaze, but we made them all green somehow. Oh. I don't think either of us thought we made them all green, and we did. Okay. Very cute. Oh, that one's Very cute. cute. Thank you. I do like it a lot. This one's a little too shiny. Okay, so we don't know what we're doing, obviously. Yeah, this is our first got... thing. So we both got one stuck to the bottom. This one is honestly maybe my favorite. I really like her. This is my favorite. This, this one looks nice. perfect. Oh, that looks very beautiful. 
I soup bowl. This one, I genuinely think like the wrong label was on it. Yeah, it has to be. And I'm so sad about but that. But it looks, it looks cool. cool. It was just not what I wanted, and yeah. that, so that made me sad. Anyway, this was supposed to be like a nutmeggy brown color. Oh, and it still looks cool, but I'm just a bit upset that it's not. She's just... Wow! I'm just so happy. We did they look job. really good! I don't think we've like taken a second at all to be like, no, we're just like, here, look. Cool. But these are awesome, dude! I kind of like where my finger was, that little... Oh, that's cool. Aww. Yeah, I like the little like messed up stuff. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that it, is what we were freaking like, out that when gives we were it glazing. so much character. I like that. I want my stuff to be weird and messy. I'm just gonna give you a little better look at these because I'm really excited about them. Jaden and I just signed up for the continuing wheel class, so we're gonna hopefully do some more advanced things and just keep learning. I love this one. This is one that someone smashed accidentally. Like, it was a regular bowl sitting there and they put a ball of clay on top of it, but I was like, honestly, that's cool and I think I'm gonna use it as like a lemon fruit bowl. Anyway, I just also got these rings from Etsy. Um, from one of my favorite Etsy shops, Lucky Chang Jewelry. I just wanted to share because they have really cool vintage rings for really, really good prices. He wanted to say hi. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end it here. Mm -hmm.